Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. In this topic, we are uh, going to continue about the uh, chapter 8, 8.7, Tension Joints is the external load. Okay, so all the content is a book, uh, is taken from Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design and all the pictures is taken from the book itself and from the Google Images. Now, we are talking about preload. In the previous topic, we are talking about the load. Okay, the load given by the bolt. Okay, you must remember everything have mass like this. It has uh, if you uh, weight scale it, it have uh, how many kilogram, how many gram, convert to kilogram, and convert to newton. You have the how many newton this. Okay, and then also the bolt, it is also have the mass. The mass you can convert to become newton. Okay, to become force. And then this is a force for preload, and also the uh, the weight of the thing that you clamp. Let's say you clamp a plate. Okay, the plate is also contribute to some uh, mass. Okay, so this become uh, a load. And then when you are clamping it, when you are clamping it, it become the preload because of the clamping force, also the mass of the what you are clamping, and then. We are this topic. We are talking about external load. What is an external load? You see in this picture, in the slide, you see the load is going up. The load, external load, is represented by the word P. Not to be confused with another subject. This is uh, the external load is P. Okay. What is actually external load? Let's say this is. I, this is my, I give the load, I hit my, I hit my whiteboard like this. The force given to this will affect the bolt at, at behind my whiteboard. And this is the external load, load given to the, uh, to this whiteboard. If I take a bigger hammer, I put, I hit this whiteboard with tremendous force the bolt may come out okay because the external load is greater than the clamping force of the uh, of the of the bolt okay and try to understand eh, what i'm thinking uh, remember a scenario when you are you are already clamped it tightly and then uh, somebody something hit the the place that you want that you have clamped that Force is the external load given by the given by the word P. This is the external load. Okay, external force given to that to that place that we, you have clamped, and then it, it the bolt will prevent it to be to become uh, declamped. Okay, this is the meaning of external load. In this slide. We are uh, talking about the uh, the symbol, the nomenclature of the symbols. Okay, let me explain first. The P is the external load. P is the external external load. Okay, not to be confused with the F. F is the preload. Okay. Okay. Let me draw. Okay. This is your bolt. Okay, this is your bolt. Okay, and then when you clamp, when you clamp it, it has the, it is called preload. Okay, preload. External force is given, like you are pushing this bolt, like my, like myself, I am hitting this bolt with this spanner. Okay, and then the external force given by this spanner is the external load okay this is external load so external load they have two uh two different two place they are the portion taken by the bolt and the portion taken by the member what is the bolt this is the portion taken by the bolt meaning that the load whether it can stand or not stand okay wait this assembly this assembly or not okay this is the bolt and the member is the nut nut okay and also the uh, actually is a nut 
and the washer okay stand by the nut and the washer i don't have the nut with me okay i only have the bolt okay the, one is the one is the bolt itself and one is the nut and the washer this is the um, pb taken for uh, for the bolt pm is taken for the members which is the nut and the washer and fb is the resultant uh, bolt load f uh, pb plus fi i is the preload uh, i i stand for initial F I I stand for initial initial force given to the uh, to the bolt itself. Okay, and C is the fraction of external load carried by bolt. Okay, one minus C is the fraction of external load carried by members. Okay, C is the fraction, eh? and N is the number of bolt in that joint. If you have if you if your assembly you have one bolt two bolt okay three bolt this is the number of uh join meaning that for this my picture that i draw there are three three n okay and then n if n equals uh, sure uh, share the equal total external load is given by p equals to p total over n okay and then the load tension cause the connection to stretch elongate stretch or elongate okay when you are clamping it when you're screwing it it may it may shorten the distance of the boat or it may elongate the boat to become slightly slightly longer you cannot see with your eye you you may can see with the uh, microscope the micrometer and everything so you see this equation uh, this equation if you remember delta equals to pb over k okay it is from spring equation just remember the whole theory of screw is related to spring theory okay spring theory f equals to k x this is a spring Okay, remember when your physics class in your secondary school, in your tertiary school, okay, F equal to Px. So they derive this equation to become delta equals to P over K. Actually, it is K delta. The same principle. Okay, don't worry. Okay, uh, you have learned it before. Deflection. So deflection of member, uh, the load from member is uh, the load from the bolt, uh, KM, uh, stiffness of the member over stiffness of the bolt. Since P, external load equals to uh, load, external load of the bolt and external load of the member, we have uh, external load of the bolt equals to uh, KBP over KB plus KM, which is stiffness of the bolt times uh, times this P, okay, external load over KB stiffness of the bolt plus stiffness of the member equals to CP. CP stands for friction, uh, fraction of the external load, and P is the external load, okay. You, if you can scroll back to the uh, previous slide, you see C is a, for a fraction, fraction of the external load. P is the external load. Okay, so where C equals to KB over KB plus KM, okay, which is called the stiffness constant of the joint. So the operation name of C is the stiffness. C equals to stiffness constant of that joint okay so resultant boat load is f b equal to p b plus f i f i initial initial force which is initial force of the load before you clamp it okay and uh, 
the member and uh, the standard of a member is below zero and the resultant load of the uh, connected members is given fm fpm minus fi okay one minus c p minus fi so uh, force of the members below zero of course this load result are valid as long as some of the camping load remains in this member is indicated by qualifier what does it mean what does it mean by the last sentence okay long as long as the clamping some of the clamping loads remains in the member meaning that if you you have your assembly if your assembly have have many join okay this is one this is two this is three okay you have many join one two three should be have equal equal load okay but somehow somehow you somehow this portion i give the external load given on it with my spanner i give external load given of it okay then the equation will not be the same anymore okay because it has the external load okay this is what they mean by the last sentence Table 812 uh, provides some information on rating values of stiffness encounter. Okay, so here, see here, table 812 shows the C value and 1 minus C value. So you you do have problem in uh, in calculating the uh, to calculating the value because the value is given to you. Uh, as long as you know uh, what is the what is the uh, if uh, your bolt is made from steel then you should be no problem so this is the bolt grip in inchi this is the stiffness uh, given by stiffness of the bolt and this is the stiffness of the member this is the stiffness uh stiffness constant t c and one minus c uh is given from the equation okay this last sentence is uh this last sentence you you write uh, you you read this think how important this is when fatigue loading is present don't also that making the grip longer causes the member to um, take even greater percentage than the external load meaning that making it the grip portion longer is better this is the grip portion there is no thread no thread is at this point this is called the grip this is called the thread Remember, in this screw chapter, the grip is not what you encounter in what you understand. It's not that what you understand in your everyday life. You are riding the motorcycle. That handle motorcycle, it has the grip to avoid you to become uh, fall down. Okay, to become sleep at your handle. This, this is called a grip. Okay, but for the screw. For the screw, the term grip is that this this portion there is no thread, then it is a slippery slippery portion. So, okay. In actually, in from this sentence, it says that when the grip is longer, meaning that it can with it can withstand more external load. Okay, it can withstand more external load, meaning that if I if I hit my whiteboard okay with tremendous force it can withstand if i uh, hit with more force okay normal bolt like this we have no grip no grip it may not withstand the load given by the force that is uh, what this sentence want to say okay so that's the end of this video. I hope you understand. So we see you in the I see you in the next video on 8.8 8 relating both talk to both tension. Thank you very much.